Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Slavic. Good to see everybody and welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Very my wonderful collectives. Let's take a look. Positive changes. Positive changes in your life. What would be the indicator that things are changing for better? What are the first bells of change? First bells of change in your situation. What would be that first bell of change? Moon card. Judgment. Eight of Wands. Well, the first bell of change that you will um, understand that things are finally starting to uh, to change is when your karmics, your karmics are going to start being brought to justice, okay? You might not hear about them. You may not necessarily follow them or uh, truly paying attention what these individuals are doing. But know that your karmics, your enemies that brought a lot of darkness into your life are being judged. There is a judgment here. Judgment here for all the works that they have done against you in the dark. And it's coming in really fast with Eight of Wands. Okay, it's coming in. So soon you will start understanding and hearing that individuals that brought you pain and suffering are under judgment. Okay, under judgment. I also feel with a moon card that there is a period, maybe recently you notice and particularly that is a very difficult period for you. You kind of like in a way losing hope and wondering, well, when is the justice going to be served? Like it's really heavy attacks going on on you at this specific moment. But this is an indicator that ending is here. Ending is near. Okay, this is the last, how I call breath, the darkness in the face of your karmics are taken before they actually will be brought to justice. But judgment is going to be served here without doubt. Okay? So no, when you are in self-doubt, whether your enemies be going to be held accountable for what they did, know that they are. Know that they are. So don't doubt yourself. Because with the moon card, I feel like you're doubting. There's too much lies. There's too much lies. There's too much secrecy. Okay, so be be patient. Be patient. Your karmics are liars. They're pathological liars. There has been a lot of lies that has been brought into your life because of these karmics, these toxic individuals. Too much rumors, too much gossip, and never-ending lies. Non-stop. So your karmics, it's done by some sort of ex lover here. Your ex is going to be brought to justice for lying. So the first one that you will find out <clears throat> is some sort of ex lover, old spark, a liar is being under judgment right now. I feel like they're trying to run away. They're trying to hide. They're trying to escape. They may be like traveling or leaving the town or leaving the city. So you... You'll understand. So the first message and the first information that you will receive and find out that actually, hey, your ex is under judgment. He's in shit. Why is he in shit? Because he, he is full of shit. He's a liar. Your ex lied. He lied. And he's going to be judged. And it's already started. It's already started. So that's the first individual because it's potentially might have started because of your ex who's a bullshitter pathological liar okay <clears throat> who is this ex of yours that is under karma right now under judgment right now for spreading lies and being sick but not just the regular lies as sick lies you know there's a little lies that we call white lies you know nobody's perfect but this person this person is a sick liar. You understand? The lies this ex of yours has spread is disgusting. It's a sick, a true sickle. And I'm not even, I, I softly speak right now. 
this is this is me softly i'm just when i'm doing this reading right now i just have this feeling of pain your pain that you were subjected to by this liar who is this liar who is this ex liar tell me more about this liar here so he will be the first one to be nailed and already under karma exit plan i told you he's running away someone wants out but they aren't making a move yet be prepared for sudden changes he's running away <laughs> he's running away or she your ex your lover someone you trusted someone who was sincere with you said that they love you said that they care for you i also have a motorcycle on a wheel running running maybe he got a trailer and running from town to town in the middle of nowhere doesn't know where to go but they are planning of running they're thinking right now about an exit plan because there's an ending right they know it's done see the vehicle again they're running you're pretending that it's not ending but it is time to let go and make a fresh start they're trying to run away because they know it's the end so the first one like i mentioned before there's some ex lover of yours who is a sick in the head pathological delusional liar that lied lied and now sink into escape okay i feel that there's a wheels involved could be a motorhome could be a trailer could be whatever the case may be, but this person trying to run away because they're scared. They're thinking, how are they going to run away? How are they going to find that plan, that exit plan to escape? Because they're under judgment. They're under judgment. I also have in the bottom of the deck, Delavish. Trouble follows them around, tempting, addictive charm. They're narcissistic. And everyone who have was ever entangled potentially with this ex-lover of yours got in shit. I don't know if you ever contacted your ex's axis, but if you did, they would have said the same thing. That after meeting this person, my life went to shit. Because this individual is a liar and a narcissist. And every single thing that they have done, not just you, not just you, but this is going to end on you. You are the one that is a pure of heart. The universe themselves protects you. The angels are guiding you. So he's not going to get away. He went away and run away with a lot of victims. And of course, it's going to be in another reading to see the, all the victims of your narcissistic lying ex. But I'm not going to do this right now. I want to know. I truly want to know. What is going on through this person's brain when they spread lies about you in order to hurt you? What was going through their mind? Unfinished business, unresolved situation. Masks. Two-faced. Not show their true self. How, how, can, how can this person show their true self? They can't. They can't. You never knew them for who they are and who they were. You knew that there is something wrong with them. That they are so perfect. But they're not. With you, they put the mask on. <clears throat> and now they're sinking, running away. What has this person, this ex, what kind of rumors this ex lover of yours spread? This is once again could be either connected to your ex or this is, could be your ex lover. If they shown me ex lover, that means your ex lover is under judgment right now. Serious karma for bullshit, what they did. 
and the rumors and lies they spread around. What else can you tell me about this karmic ex-lover? Chain down. Chain down. Spontaneously unexpected. Well, they're going to be busted. Unexpected. Spontaneously. Archangel Michael here. Archangel Michael is also connected to military, law enforcement, policing. He's a patron, pat, patron and a saint of law enforcement. Uh, so, so unexpectedly, he's going to get arrested unexpectedly. He probably potentially does not even know it's coming. But he's getting busted. Because he's a liar. He's a liar, see? It's punishment. He wanted to punish you. He wanted to punish you. And, and of course, for that, for this sick revenge against you and your family and your children, your whole life, your whole stability, this lunatic wanted to punish you, there's going to be a bounty. There's already bounty hunters. That's why he's thinking of escaping. That's why he probably went and bought himself a trailer. So he can run away in the middle of fucking nowhere singing he's safe there and, hi and, and hidden. Sicko, right? So point is that he is getting arrested. There is an investigation. There is a bounty hunter on his ass. This is confirmed twice. He's figuring out how can he escape. He's, he's right now in the process of making that plan B. Because he understands that he fucked up. And he has been caught for what he has been doing to you relentlessly and it was the level of punishment he wanted to punish you now he wanted to punish you there are some also family involved family and inner circle family and inner so circle it's it's your ex lover family and inner circle that cross all the healthy civilized boundaries with intent to seek revenge against you and punish you now it leaves me to ask one question. For what? For what this lying nutcase, pathological, sociopathic, and delusional family, if they want to call themselves that, or inner circle friends, what are they punishing you for? What are they punishing you for? Show me. What are they punishing you for? They think they're punishers. For what are you punishing my collectives? I have Magician. I have Six of Pentacles. Money. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Three of Pentacles. It's money. It's a manipulative, money-hungry family or inner circle. That want to punish you because this lunatic in some way lose money. I don't see not a single card of love. Right? There is no card of love. There's a there, there's money here. Six of pentacles being favored financially, having strong position, manipulating the courts in their favor, having some sort of new beginning. Corrupt organization with ace of pentacles and three of pentacles and knight of wands. Something that these manipulators and this inner circle wanted to start. And apparently, you were on the way. You were on the way, right? You were on the way. You were a big problem for this community, for these crooks, lunatics, because you were pure of heart. You simply were not narcissistic enough, a bullshitter enough, a sociopathic lunatic enough to be part of this sick, corrupt organization, friendship, or family unit. You understand? So there are crooks that were accustomed to make money illegally. They, they are obsessed with money. That's the only thing they prioritized. And they wanted to keep it that way. So when you came along, somehow you were on a radar. You understand? So imagine if this is a corrupt gang, okay, illegal gang organization who, who earn money illegally in some way or another, okay, as an example. You coming in and you become a heat bag, pretty much. And that's exactly what you become. So they needed to get rid of you. 
they needed to get rid of you because you came along and apparently this crooks for committing perjury, fraud, whatever the criminal, uh, criminal activity they were participating in, you become a problem. Or they might have lost money. And now you're standing up to yourself for yourself. You're calling this lunatic for what they are. And now they want revenge, right? Something to do with money. It's a sick lunatic. So yeah, sure, they're trying to escape right now. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> we have a bounty hunters here. We have a dogs. It's a shepherd's canine unit dogs. I mean, they will sniff you no matter where you are. So they already been exposed and they if they are too stupid to understand it <laughs> that they are lo going to lose their jobs for participating in illegal activities for earning money corruptedly for committing perjury and fraud they're getting busted see manipulators they manipulators they want to they're the one that are crooks and they the one they want to punish you because they can no longer manipulate and do their corrupted jobs. Well, that's that's phenomenal, you know. If this is not narcissistic enough, then I don't know what narcissistic is. Right? So once again, some ex lover over here is being busted. <clears throat> For trickery, deception. Once again, liar. It's a lot of lies here. And there's also some Queen of Pentacles, also a reckless sociopath. Very narcissistic female. So this is could be a family, could be a couple. Okay, could be a couple, corrupt couple. Queen of Pentacles, highly materialistic, obsessed with money, lying, corrupt, crook, negligent, abusive. Every single card I pulled, and twice I pulled Magician, I knew that this Magician card was not in the right position. Sometimes I read my cards in upright position or reverse, it's depending on which deck I use. But too much manipulation and fraud and bullshit bullshit so like i said there is no more deception trying to manipulate trying to deceive digging themselves more in a deeper shit than they are actually initially were blaming you for that because now they cannot continue on with their corruption so now do you see there's a guilt trip now they're blaming you that their corruption lead a special unit forces and now they're being investigated so you understand it's just too much of an abusive circle but like i said this manipulation coming to an end they're right now trying to escape they're not going to es escape see this is some sort of unethical unhappy couple here unhappy I don't even know why they're together. If this is your ex-lover and his current partner, uh, wife, whatever, girlfriend, or wife, whatever they are, they're just not happy. They're not happy. They're, it's an imbalanced couple. It's a couple that simply got together with intent to commit fraud. Right? And participate in bribery and corruption and perjury. And... They, but they're the one that started this revenge, right, against you initially. And by doing that, they only brought upon their dumb asses a special forces unit. And they're being investigated. So it's a circle. It's a circle. They cannot get away. That's It's done already. Judgments here, it's done. It is 100% done. So now they're sinking, running away. Now they're thinking of running away. They're thinking of plan B. Probably traveling, moving somewhere around. They're scared. They're freaking out. They're freaking out because they understand that the victory will be given to you as a high priestess. You expose them. You expose them. You know the truth. You know the truth. And you're tracing these losers where they're going. And they cannot run away from you. You are truly... You yourself could be a magician, a psychic, highly intuitive. You are never going to be second. See, blessings. You're blessed with a very unique gift. The divine supports you. you there is a queen of swords. This is you, queen of swords and queen of cups. You both intellectual and kind. 
you're kind to those who deserve your kindness. But also you're not only live your life relying on your heart, but you're also living your life relying on your intuition and your mind. You can be gentle, as sweet as a kitty cat. But if somebody crosses you, you're like a mean tiger. And that's what they that's what they're understanding now. That's what they're understanding now. There's 100 percent victory will be yours. I also have eight of pentacles and I have three of three of cups. Your hard work, whatever it is you're doing, will pay you out. See, strength. You're strong. And they know it. They know it. It is truly unfortunate. It is unfortunate for, for these poor materialistic materialistic rats that ready to to attack an innocent person because their ego is bigger than their brain very unfortunate but at the end of the day it is for god to judge it is for the higher power to put an end to these delusions of this deception of this corruption and abuse and for my personal practice as a shaman, I know that the universe is fair. I know that everybody gets what they deserve because that's how the universe works and the rules of creator. So they, this is done. So it looks like this unhappy, corrupt, messed up couple whatever they are a bunch of liars trying to escape well let's see let's take a look let's take a look at their plan was their trailer let's see well what are they doing well what are their plan of escaping where are they going what are they thinking what are their escape plan they think that they can continue on and and lie <laughs> it was their delusions and bullshit and they think that they have an opportunity and chance to, to run away with it. What is this exit plan? What is this escape plan? We have lower. They're thinking, hey, if we stick together, we'll be fine. Right? We'll be fine. We have to just act. Act that we're a kind, that we're a happy couple. That maybe everything is fine. We're just going to continue bullshit and pretend it's okay. But they forgetting that they are watched. They're already being investigated for many, many years. They they're forgot about it. Understand? So their plan is like, well, you know, we're soulmates. We're we're partners. We're loving each other. We're so happy. Everything's perfect. You know, we we sharing our prosperity. We are authority. We are so generous. But deep down, behind the generosity, behind the generosity, there is nothing but mental health issues, addictions, depression, obsessions, materialism, sexual immorality, violence, assault. No. They're not going to continue on this plan. What they have is not going to work. It's once again deception. It's again lying. Devil is a number one trickster. Devil will act as a as an angel. But deep down it's a devil. Right? Same thing with them. They're so perfect. My oh my. An exemplatory family. Community. Members of the community. But deep down, there's that sickness of a toxicity. And they, the, the thing is, was this, this couple that they continue on. Continue on with that repetitive cycle of, of abuse. They never learned. They never stopped. Don't you think that investigative unit given them enough time to, re to repent and maybe come forward to the detachment with truth? No matter what truth it is. It's a truth. But no. It's a bullshit upon bullshit upon bullshit. To the point that they themselves 
cannot keep up with the lies that they have plotted and created against you. They, like that. Like that. They'll be broken. They're not fooling anybody here. They're not fooling you. Psychic. Magician. They will never fool you. And they will never fool the law enforcement either. So their plan is, like I said, to fake Fake it until you make it, how we call it. Okay, fake it until you make it. But um, this negative pattern goes on and on. And it's been picked up. It's been picked up by the higher courts. And uh, for finality, I have a justice card here, meaning honesty. It's truth. The law shall prevail. And the law will have no mercy upon this demonic community, this toxic, sick lying, immoral, sociopath. Law is fair. Law is fair. And law is going to bring forth destruction. Destruction. Tower. We have male and female here. Falling out of that freaking home. Their castle that they built for themselves. The almighty couple. They're going to be booted. Boo tit. And they're going to start everything from scratch. And it's not going to be easy. But this is the end result. So the law themselves are going to be booting them. It's over. It's a disaster. It's chaos. It's a destruction. It's divorce. It's bankruptcy. It's a tragedy. Tragedy that they are trying so hard to avoid. Not understanding the loss of the universe. The loss of the karmic justice. So, their exit plan was pretending. is not working here. All right, uh, spirit guides, what message do my collectives need to hurt to hear right now? What message do my collectives need to hear right now? Main male, there's some male coming in towards you. If it's, if you're a masculine that watching this, that once again, there is a possibility for a new partner. What can you tell me about this male? Wealthy male. Hmm. Wealthy. Wealthy, successful. He looks to me more like a gentleman. Or a lady, for those masculine who's watching this. Some new person coming in towards you. What else can you tell me about this new person? <clears throat> Who is this person? Oh! Yeah, that person's in a hurry here. Everything's falling out. Who is this person? Who is this person? Feelings. It's a person that will have gentle feelings towards you. I feel like they've been watching you, maybe. <laughs> Observing you. So this is an individual that will have feelings towards you. Okay? You may, you may be um, considering writing, writing a book. Maybe you are a writer yourself. Maybe you write poems. Maybe you write music. Maybe you simply like to write. There's something you do with your hands. And I feel like this masculine just literally ready just to go under the table just to be beside you. And of course, I have an engagement ring here. It's a marriage. It's a proposal. It's a proposal. And of course, I have an image here as an Aphrodite. So there's love. Red candle, rose, it's a love, it's a feeling, it's an individual, an individual that will love you and want to be with you and be beside you, okay, at, at your service, at your service, and together you will move on with this person, you will, you will move on with this person, together, you will be together. Very gentle feeling, a lot of gentleness and compassion 
very romantic person so you'll potentially spend a lot of time together somewhere on the beach maybe just just being together always together always with each other <clears throat> a lot of love and of course healing okay healing this individual will bring you a lot of healing and a lot of peace. Um, nothing but love. The energy I get here is love. True love. True love. Let's take another deck. Whispers of love. And let's see. Who is this new person? What message does this new person that is coming towards you has for you? We have the only thing that is real is love. So shift your focus from the problem back to love. And once again, you will come and that person says in the bottom of the deck, I love you. So this person, I love you. These are very important words. So once again, like I mentioned before, that this person will heal you. You won't remember about this lying, toxic, whatever they are here. Uh, the moment this person will come towards you and come in into your life and enters your life, which is coming in fast, because, like I mentioned before, this whole events are, um, you know, in, in an extra speed. And uh, this person, this person is coming in to show you what it is. What is a real love? What is a real love? And the moment he'll come in or she, he'll forget about all this. It's not going to be relevant or, or nor important. You will be too busy loving this person and that person loving you so once again there's true love here true feelings love is the only emotion that is capable of healing and uh, you don't forget about that okay all right my wonderful sweethearts this is the message i have for you i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye.